to know about that, Anthony? Brother Betty, as you well know, I'm on the internet frequently. That's a good word, frequently. I like the way it sounds. And anyway, somebody sent me an email, uh, you know, and, uh, and they said uh, the end of the caption or the link was, uh, "When will Germany uh, admit to its genocide of of uh, the people in?" Uh, uh, I guess it was like Northwest Africa, Northeast Africa, Southwest Africa, or something like that. You know, Namibia. You know, they called it. They called it something else, but it's Namibia. And so I wrote back. Never. <laughs> because, you know, in Namibia, that's where they got the whole thing about the death camps and, and the whole thing that they did up in Germany in World War II. Well, they practiced in Namibia with black people first. They always practiced on black people first before they, you know, roll out to their own people or whoever. So I said, no, it's fact. I said, Germany, look, they're, they're currently doing genocide or financial genocide on Greece. That's right, through the IMF, a bunch of, and with, but my point is, Greece is hurting, they ain't letting them off no hook or nothing like that. So now we got the 29th right to whatever they call them these days when they, the Germany's now in the catbird seat once again. But it got me to think, you know, and well, like, in fact, I wrote a back and said, no, not that, something else I wrote. But the point is, if they're willing to do to their own tribe, <laughs> think what they're going to do to their tribe that looks like an other, other, other to them. <laughs> oh, they'll... You know, Greece is pretty close, too. You know. But then uh, my brain or whatever's happening is flipped, really, to something that really upset me. Down there in Texas, good old Texas, Lone Star State, they just do everything alone, they do whatever they want in Texas. There was some sort of pool party, neighborhood pool party. A lot of black kids came. It's a pool, it's summertime, black people like water. I mean, there's a whole joke about not being able to swim, but don't believe that, you know, black people can swim. So anyway, so, White, I'm going black and white because this is a whole black and white thing. Some white neighbor called up and said, Hey, there's a lot of black people in the pool and they're making a whole lot of noise and blah blah blah. So now the cops come. The white local police officers come, it don't matter, the blue police officers, whatever you want to call them. They come and then the mayhem, the video shows there's mayhem, people are running all over the place, blah blah. They're grabbing people and slamming them down on the ground, you know. And then finally, you know, one girl, one little girl, she's wearing a you know, bikini or something. Teenagers, I think she was 14 or something like that. They, he actually put her on the ground and then stepped on her back. Meanwhile, some other cop is chasing somebody else with a gun. Now, I don't know, this is what people are seeing, but here's what I'm seeing. Now, see, I'm looking at things a little bit differently. What I'm seeing is these other white, big white guys, you know, just walking around. I assume they're the neighbors. They're just walking around. They're not asked to be sit down or put in handcuffs. <laughs> They just walk around, you know, to, to pointing things out. And I'm going, what's going on here? What's going on here? And this is doubly, and I said this before, this is doubly upsetting. Because people have to realize what they do to black kids, they will do to you and your kids. And it don't matter that, you know, you got a president with uh, some teenagers in the White House or some attorney general that happens to be black. I don't know what, she, what kind of children she has. But you know, I'm dare, I, I dare one of them, 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 them people to get on television and say, oh, it could have been me. Oh, I don't hear that. No more. This is, could have been me. This is, I don't want to say outrageous, because it's beyond outrageous. It's, it's, it's appalling. It's, it's out of whatever. You know what it's like? Back in the day, when I say back in the day, I mean right after slavery, you know, before the big migration, or even during the big migration, I'm talking about the 19. Arts, the 1920s, 30s, there was a whole big lynching happening. In fact, there used to be a thing, you know, the word picnic comes from a, the, a term called pick a nigger. Now, what that means is they would just pick, pick a nigger and hang him. It would be like a, 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 a barbecue, a, a, a hanging party, and it would, that would be their picnic. It would be a hanging party, and then, you know, everybody would just sit around and watch this black person be a hung. Well, what's the difference between that and right now seeing black people being executed and stuff like that and done wrong on TV? It's like having everybody sit around just watch it. Nobody doing nothing. Everybody accepting it. Look, I have some hopes here. In a month, I'm going to go, I'm going to 
be going to the States for a couple of couple of months to do some research and stuff like that. The last time I went to the States, I think it was 2011, a week after I got there, Occupy movement started. Hopefully when I get to the States this time, some other movement will be in full blast because this has got to stop. Um, I'm up to wherever with this stuff. And I know I'm, in a, I'm not in a good position because you know, basically I feel like Richard Wright. <laughs> You know, he was he was in Paris when all the stuff of the civil rights was hopping off, and he when he was about to go back, you know, you know that's the way he didn't make it back. But you know, James Ball was sitting in Paris too. But he came back, so I feel like, man, if I go to the states, am I going to have to write something? Am I going to have to do something? Am I going to have to just ignore this and just keep on with my work here? I don't know. It's a decision. It's it's, it's a weighty thing because I mean I really feel connected to the stuff that's happening. It's like really bad. This has been one of those dispatches from the arts director of murders. That would be me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to the bed, letting you know what I've been seeing and I suspect. Mm -hmm.